Do you know who this man is? Right, he's Albert Einstein, one of the most famous scientists and inventors. He rocked the world with his theory of relativity. So how to be a successful scientist? What does it take to become a successful scientist? Scientists are very curious people who like to solve problems. They solve these problems by doing science projects called experiments. What are some of these problems? Well, they can be about finding a way to cure people when they have diseases, keeping our air clean, and many things that make our lives comfortable and safe. There are many different kinds of scientists and they all do different things. Some like to study about living things and they are called biologists. Some like to study rocks and they are called geologists. So what scientists do exactly? Well, it boils down by observing, measuring, classifying, inferring, predicting and communicating. Observing means to study objects and events carefully with the use of five senses. Sense of sight, hear, smell, taste, and touch. Measuring is important in collecting, comparing, and interpreting data. The metric system should be used to help understand dimensions, volume, and mass. Classifying is to group objects and events according to how they are similar or different. When you group similar data together, it is easier to understand how they relate or connect. Suppose you observe a running dog. Can you think of reasons why the dog is running? If you do, then you are making inference. Predicting means making an educated guess about what will happen in the future. Prediction is based on what you already know and data that you have collected. Scientists share information, data, and opinions that have become sources of knowledge in science. This can be done with graphs, diagrams, maps, and spoken words. Sometimes senses are not enough to make an observation. Here are some tools that can help make your observations accurate and precise. 